Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Welcome back to the channel. Deb Chanel's 40th World. And you know, a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Tell the business, okay? We got Phaedra, Fay Fay, up in the building at Win Wendy Williams' show. Yeah, and she was talking about none other than Candy Burris. She said, Candy, Candy girl is a good businesswoman. That was six years ago. I'm like, what the hell is she talking about? So Candy don't fell off with her business? <laughs> or what she trying to say? Uh, Candy basically should just let bygones be bygones. But she said she has seen Miss Candy out and about. But I guess they're still not on talking terms. And understandably why Candy probably wouldn't even want to be messing with her. Understandably. But Phaedra, she's also a little liar, too. Because I remember when nobody was checking for her, she had said that reality show just was not good for her. She didn't want to do reality show anymore. And as much she is trying to be like a model, I forgot what agency had taken her on. As a el not an elderly model, but you know, for her age group, she, I think Mi Madam Mir, shoot, start with a W, I think. I can't think, but it's a um, well known one, I think, in New York City. And of course, you know, Phaedra been out there, she's on the ultimate girls trip, which ain't nobody really checking for. I know I'm not, but she basically. You know, I was saying, in a, you know, in a nutshell, that Candy would be in petty. And while they are sinking on the sinking ship, meaning Real Housewives of Atlanta, she's going to be yachting and sailing in the winds on the ocean over there in Dubai. I said, Lord, have mercy. It seems like she's going to be become a part of the Illuminated Club as well with all that blonde hair going around here. But uh, that's another another story for another video. But yeah, I, and what's his name? Uh, that Rappaport man. He liked it to shade. He liked it to shade real good. But I was like, Lord, why wow, don't Fay Fay just stop trying to do all of this stuff? Candy is not gonna like her anymore. She probably don't like Candy no more either. So it's probably a mutual hatred for one another. But I can't believe, I couldn't believe she went over there. And, um, <laughs> I couldn't believe she went over there and said what she said now. I was trying to find the, um, video. Because Marlo is getting on her as well, too. About Candy basically is sitting down, doing nothing, not earning her keep. And I was like, wait a minute, is this what you and Marlo was getting a fighting about, Candy Girl? Is this what she was talking about? Oh, my, my, my. Phaedra after you, now Marlo after you. And Kenny ain't too pleased with you with that, uh, them sex toys. But Ken, I think you, you don't got to, to have an obsession with that. Just because you love it, those sex kinky toys. Just because you love it, baby. That don't mean everybody else going to share your passion. And your time and attention that you pay to supporting <laughs> that um, that type of um, platform. I guess you would say for lack of a better word. Don't nobody care about them sex toys, Candy, like you do. 
but that is your market and you do have to uh, promote it each and every way but I think you don't beat how you call it you don't beat a dead horse when it comes to the girls that you're hanging around uh, talking about all that kind of stuff they they not here for it, Candy. And it seems like Candy gonna go off on you too if you you give her any more uh, sexy lingerie or some gadgets to try. She might just uh, shove them down your throat, Candy. So I think you need to tread water. I mean, we get it. You wanna put your business out there, just like I see Brian out there uh, from the old lady gang show. He out there still selling his uh soul rolls or something egg rolls. They looked at appetizing. Excuse me, guys. <sighs> I've been down for a minute. But, yeah. Phaedra is going to, I guess, be a friend of the show over on, in that Dubai Housewives. I don't really like it. This this really is not. The only way I would probably watch it is just to tune in in that particular episode. Because I think she's supposed to be a friend of one of the um, the wives uh, over there in Dubai in that franchise. I think her name is Caroline. But Phaedra done told Michael Rappaport that she don't buy the house over there. She sells sea moss. I'm trying to figure out, is that capsule related or is something you just have to eat? Like, girl, is it come in powder form? But I don't know what sea moss is. I don't know what sea moss is. Let's look up what sea moss does. I like, what in the hell? And he was asking something else and she was kind of stumbling over her words. Now, what I've noticed about Phaedra, when she not telling the truth, uh, she'll start, um, like stuttering or something. And, and Sheree's the same way. But I was like, okay, what, why are you really going over there, girl? Why are you really going over there? Oh my goodness. I hope we ain't finna do no crazy stuff like what Paulo used to do. You scamming folks, Phaedra. We ain't got time for that mess now. Okay. What does it do? Do anybody know what Seymour's supposed to do? I'm trying to read it. Consuming Seymour's in large quantities, particularly from supplements, may cause iodine toxicity, which can adversely affect the thyroid gland and lead to health conditions as hypothyroidism and goddards hmm let me see the real superpower within the sea moss is its fiber this is what gives it such a great weight loss and digestive benefit the fiber also supports the good boosts immunity and encourage heart health so maybe that's what she's doing uh, she's tampering in or um, throwing her hand in for to use sea moss for weight loss uh, so that's basically I can see the reason why she would be in it I, I thought she would get on the weed truck really <laughs> and no cannibal you know we call us thing cannabis and, and smoke your way to good health child cause Snoop Dogg don't seem to be having no problems and that joker talking about he hired, he gave his blunt roller, which is a professional blunt roller. They make with him between 40000 a year to 50000 I was like, look at Snoo trying to employ somebody to roll his blunt. I remember, I think he had a contest for who could roll the fattest uh, um, blunt, secured blunt. And I guess he had picked a winner. That was about like three or four years ago. So I guess his uh, professional blunt roller is still hanging around him. But I don't think forty and fifty thousand is that good in California. Hell I don't know. But I don't know if the the man is just there with him all the time or he ship it to uh Snoop Dogg. I don't know how that transaction is made. But he said he, it was inflation time out there, and he wanted to give <laughs> his blunt man, his blunt roller, a raise. I said, well, ain't that something? But yes, um, Phaedra is planning on moving to Dubai. Now, the only reason I think she's moving, she ain't got no house out there. She rented somebody's house. That's what that is. Uh, and she's going to stay out there and see if it works out with her um, being a part of a friend of the show. 
uh, which is Caroline, supposed to be her friend. And, uh, I mean, she was just lying. She had said she was into some type of technology or something. I don't know. But she wasn't making, she wasn't making eye contact with um, Mr. Rappaport. And I just knew she was just telling a lie. That's all. Because we, I don't understand how you can have two different lucrative professions. And you just studied trying to get your foot in the door in the reality world. So, I mean, they must be making some deep bank or something. Because it's ridiculous. It's like, you can come right out of high school and say, mm, I'm going to the entertainment field. And instead of you going to college, you know, and then having college loans to pay back. Depending on what um, what field you went into, you come out of college in debt. And if you choose the reality um, show business type of uh as a career, you come out probably making uh what is it, a uh, hundred thousand or maybe five hundred thousand, half of a million, and you you be making that same um income each year. So why would you need to go? <laughs> why would you need to go? So and a lot of people uh have proven, uh young people that uh, do pranks in YouTube. You know, it's been some lot of it's been a lot of um. YouTubers that have been young, well, they're young YouTubers, and they came up with a great gimmick for their uh, YouTube channel, and how they already making millions of trillions of dollars, probably not trillions, but millions of billions. I mean, you you got billionaires running around here still in uh, high school or in elementary school because they don't they learned the market quick and they know about capitalism. <laughs> So I was like, God damn, you know, I'll be looking at some of these higher YouTubers and, you know, in numbers and, you know, they already surpassed a hundred thousand mark. They're like in the millions uh, with their subscribers and they're getting sponsorships. There's a lot of advertisement. I was like, God, dog, that is why Phaedra likes it. She don't have to work. She can just play a role in her head of who she thinks she wants to be by being on this particular show. And she just go with it. Because ain't none of them actors. Mm-mm. But reality TV show pays. So I guess she did her research. And she's like, I ain't finna do this. Unless I want to. I can do my professional jobs on the side. But this is gonna be my main gig. So I'm like, okay, Fay Fay, go on with your bad self, child. Go on with your bad self. And then I, I it was cute enough when she said that um the crew that's on season 14 now they are sinking with the titanic and she's gonna be yachting watching them sink as they go up i was like look at faye trying to be uh nice nasty i said boy faye faye can't ooh. but i wouldn't mind her coming back so Kendra, uh candy not candy but kenya could get a hold to her i would not mind that at all and that would be like the battle of the wits right there between them two but that's all I got for this video, guys. Like it, love it, gotta have more. Subscribe to the channel, please. Go over to my other channel. Make it make sense. And we have a new channel out. Um, I think it's called... Just, wait a minute. You and Me, Just Us Two. With the two being the number two. Look it up. I'm gonna try to get my daughter to pin it for me. So y'all can get more laughs and kikis with her and I. Our um, dual team, mother and daughter team. And you actually get to see both of us. I mean, she shows her picture. I mean, she shows her stuff uh, live, you know, with her. Not live, but, you know, it's taped with her face and her voice and all that. And usually I don't do that unless I want to. It's just too time consuming, you know. So, um, yeah, look out for that one. You will see me and her over there in rare form. Uh, no chaser, just straight bull. We're, we're, we're shooting to y'all. <laughs> or giving y'all the tea, how they call it. And uh, just really making our opinions. Or giving our opinions on certain things we've seen out there in the social media realm. So enjoy yourselves. That's another channel you can go to to get your haha, -ha, your kikis, and your laughter on. Laughter is good for the soul. I always remember that. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.